I mostly rely on my Garmin to get around. It's been pretty reliable so far. There's been moments where I've had issues with it. Such as uh, when I went to Ferndale trying to find the library and it took me right to the police station. I figured it was about time to get a map update, which I did. I didn't. I lost the cord. I did it a few years ago. This is kind of old. It requires a fingernail, you, not like the touch pads of today where it's just your skin. But I used to have a cord um, like this. Uh, I lost it and then I had to buy another one. I went to Best Buy and looked and lo and behold uh, I had to ask. The, the guy had one and I said that I uh, saw on eBay that they're eight dollars which you know I actually did look and uh, he said that well they're probably like twenty dollars here or something and he, then he went back and got it and it was like seventeen dollars and he handed it to me and I said well okay thanks I'll debate the price and he walks away and then within seconds later he comes back and he's like okay I'll give you a deal I'll sell it to you for ten dollars so I don't I don't think these these I guess these are an older style cord because this is an older older style GPS but yeah it's uh, doing pretty good the reason I got this cord is because the map seemed a little old so I, I wanted to to get uh, updated because that that it took me the map took me to the the police station in Ferndale and I didn't want that uh, so I did get it updated and it says when it when it turns on it says 2013 but it still takes me to uh, the police station so I, I don't know what the deal is and and also I wasn't able to download everything. Um, because I have free maps for life, and so it's it's no problem downloading stuff. I, I mean, I was able to download the program and all that good stuff. I was able to 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 do that, but this thing is limited with with memory. I guess this is a little memory stick here. You could put uh, more memory in, but I, since I didn't have all the memory, they they recognize that and they offer like. Uh, chunks I could I could choose Washington like the area around it so I did that that's what I had memory for updated it and said 2013 when it started but uh, it still didn't update the library for Ferndale and I think that's that change you know that change happened a while ago so even with updates you're not going to get the most current. I mean, Google on Google Maps recognizes the the new library location in Ferndale, but Garmin doesn't. Um, as you can see, where I'm where I'm at, uh, I have I'm surrounded by banks. There's okay. There's about what eight banks there or something within a within a sh short distance of me for. For in the Bellingham region, I find it interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I've gotten around pretty good. I, I came out. This doesn't recognize the little library that I went to. Um, there's a little library, um, but it's not much of a library. I can understand why this doesn't even recognize it. Google Maps pointed it out. Um, so I checked it out, but yeah, the hours are limited. It's just it's more of a study area than anything um, with limited hours. Uh, but yeah, updating maps doesn't really uh, seem isn't isn't that great of a feature if they don't actually update the maps. Free you know free maps for life updates is is not that great. Um, yeah, you have to work with Google Maps too. In a way, so you learn the areas. This isn't Garmin isn't going to tell you where everything is at. Um, maybe that's just a little too much work for them. They're they're they got their own focus, I guess. Um, yep, that's that's it.